Werewolves. A legend that has been around ever since the Dark Ages. It has become a part of the world's cultures from continent to continent. You can find the beliefs of werewolves in India, Japan, Australia, Europe, the Middle East, and in Africa. They are a conduit of fear and fascination, worship and death. In this documentary you will learn about the origins, the crimes, the films, and the mental aspect of the everlasting beast we have all come to call the werewolf. Many writers and scholars have come to believe that werewolves and the idea behind them were spawned by horrible incidences back in history. Occurrences like these included serial killers, murderers, and the clinically insane engaging in unthinkable acts against his or her fellow man. Other influences on earlier societies may have come from ancient writing and poetry, mythology and folklore. The word lycanthrope originated in Greek mythology. The king of the gods, Zeus, transformed into a human traveler and went to the palace of the evil Arcadian king, Lycan, hoping to be accommodated. Lycan recognized Zeus for who he really was and tried to serve Zeus disguised human flesh. However, Zeus refused to eat it. In retaliation with this action, Zeus punished Lycan by destroying his palace and transforming him into a wolf. In another version of the myth, Lycan served Zeus his own son, Arcus, and others. Lycan sacrificed a child to Zeus on the altar of Lycaeus, and immediately after the sacrifice, Zeus turned Lycan into a wolf as well. This would not be the only ancient myth with references of gods turning men into wolves. In 1853, twelve ancient clay tablets were excavated from an equally ancient library of the last great Assyrian king in Ashurbanipal, ruins which date back to 669 BC in the region of Nineveh, which now lies on the eastern bank of the Tigris near Mosul, Iraq. It would be almost 20 long years before the tablets were translated by George Smith at the British Museum. These tablets would later be discovered to be a mythical story, the Epic of Gilgamesh, a long story of myths, legends, and poetry written in cuneiform. The story itself even has an alternative version of the Great Flood, a story that is found in the Holy Bible. In this great story, on the sixth tablet, there is an account of Gilgamesh denying the sexual advances of Ishtar, goddess of fertility, love, and war. Beforehand, a shepherd was loved by Ishtar. The passage goes on to read, quote, You loved the shepherd, or the master herder, who continually presented you with bread baked in embers, and who daily slaughtered for you a kid. Yet you struck him, and turned him into a wolf, so his own shepherds now chase him, and his own dogs snap at his shins. Gilgamesh himself was a real king that ruled back around 2700 BC, based upon the context of the stories themselves. The tablets even name the author, whose name was Shin Aki Anunini, which is considered to be the oldest author in recorded history. However, Shin did not write the story. He did, however, recess the ancient writing. It is believed that since the story was Sumerian, the writers of the Twelve Tablets were Sumerian volunteers. The 1500s for the French was an age where fairy tales and legend would be replaced by real horrors and trials. Two men, who were actually tried as werewolves back in 1521, grew famous. The word spread fast and everybody knew of their names, Pierre Burgat and Mikhail Verdon. It was established during the trial that while Pierre was gathering his sheep during a severe storm, he came across three mysterious men on horseback, dressed in black. Without giving a name, one of them assured him the future protection of his sheep and gave him some money. In return, the stranger asked Burgot to obey him as the Lord. Burgot accepted and agreed to meet them later. In the second gathering, the so-called Lord announced the full conditions of the pact. Burgot must denounce God, the Holy Virgin, the Company of Heaven, and baptism. As years passed, Burgot became hesitant to maintain the pact. Then, he was called upon by Mikhail Verdon, one of the mysterious horse riders in black. He ordered Burgot to strip naked and apply a magical ointment to his body. Burgot agreed, and afterwards discovered that his legs and arms had been covered in fur, and his hands had morphed into paws. Verdon transformed himself into a wolf as well, and they ran together through the countryside, committing heinous crimes. The victims, they claimed, 
a young boy, a woman, and her daughter. The young boy they had ripped to pieces, the woman they had killed, and her daughter they had kidnapped. Later on, they ate the girl together. They were put to death when caught, and their pictures were hung in the local church to warn any other that would dare commit similar acts. In 1573, the authorities found several half-eaten children in the town of Dole and put a price on a werewolf's head. Two months later after the injunction, Gillis Garner was arrested. Most of his victims were 9 to 12 year old children. He slew them with his, quote, paws and teeth, unquote. To satisfy his appetite, he consumed the flesh of their thighs, legs, and abdominal regions. In 1589, a man known as Peter Stubbe, who was a farmer, was executed for his grisly crimes. With the threat of being tortured as he lay on a stretching rack, he confessed to killing and eating 14 children, two pregnant women, and their fetuses. Among the 14 children he ate was his own son, whose brains had also been eaten. He was sentenced to death by the wheel, where flesh was torn from his body by flaming red-hot pincers, followed by his arms and legs. To add further insult to injury, the people broke his torn limbs with the back end of an axe head to ensure that he would never return from the grave. As a ward to similar behavior, the local authorities erected a pole with the torture wheel and the figure of a wolf on it, and on top, Peter Stubbe's head. The man would later be called the Werewolf of Bedburg. Earlier, before his execution, he had confessed that he had practiced black magic since he was 12 years old. He claimed that the devil had given him a magical belt that, when worn, allowed him to shapeshift into, quote, the likeness of a greedy, devouring wolf, strong and mighty, with eyes great and large, which in the night sparkled like fire, a mouth great and wide, with most sharp and cruel teeth, a huge body, and mighty paws, unquote. This could suggest that Stubbe made a pact with the devil, similarly shown in this demonstration of the German legend Faust, meaning fist, where Faust is the protagonist who makes a pact with the devil. Whether or not Peter Stubbe was the victim of superstition gone too far, the authorities still had the remains of 16 victims on their hands, each one clearly murdered in one of the most horrible ways. In 1598, Jacques Roulette was tried for killing and eating a 15-year-old boy. He was found in the forest by the authorities with long matted hair and blood-soiled hands. He was reportedly holding a lump of flesh. At his trial, he described how he had slaughtered various people, including a number of attorneys, lawyers, and bailiffs. Instead of being sent to death, he was sent to a madhouse, of which he only stayed for two years. Jacques would be known later on as the Werewolf of Caude.